In a tweet this morning, President Trump suggested a missile strike was imminent, taunting Russia, which has threatened to shoot down American missiles over Syria. The president tweeting, Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming. Nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. At this point in time, military strike against Syria certainly looks likely, and all sides are rattling sabers in a way that we haven't seen before. A military strike against Syria is on a hot boil at the White House. The president tweeting, all of the fools that are so focused on looking only at Russia should start also looking in another direction, China. Here's part of what the Defense Department said on Friday, quote, over the last three years, the People's Liberation Army has rapidly expanded its overwater bomber operating areas, gaining experience in critical maritime regions and likely training for strikes, as we mentioned a moment ago, against the U.S. and allied The U.S. Targets. already has a guided missile destroyer in position off the coast of Syria. The USS Donald Cook has roughly 75 Tomahawk missiles on board and 20 surface-to-air missiles in the event that Russian warplanes attempt to challenge it. Russia has threatened to engage any warships that fire on, uh, on Syria. The Assad regime has uh, prompted the president to threaten military action. My question Secretary Mattis is very specific. What is the legal authority, the precise legal authority of the United States government to engage in military action in response to the chemical weapons use by the Assad regime? And as Russia so, if prevents might, the United Nations from dealing with it, uh, we can sit acquiescent or we can do something about it. Turkey has warned the U.S.-led coalition is playing with fire over its plan to set up a new border force made up of 30,000 of its Syrian militia allies. Now, Trump tweeted that President Bashar al-Assad of Syria must not recklessly attack Idlib province. The Russians and Iranians would be making a grave humanitarian mistake to take part in this potential human tragedy. Hundreds of thousands of people could be killed. Don't let that happen. And the meetings we've seen uh, happening just now are all looking forward to this higher level meeting that's going to take place on Friday, aren't they? Absolutely. There are preparations that are obviously being put in place uh, for this attack on Idlib. We saw uh, last week the Iranian defense minister went to Damascus. We've seen the Iranian foreign minister there on Monday meeting, uh, not just him, but with a, a whole uh, bevy of diplomats as well, meeting with uh, President Assad. And on Friday, uh, President Erdogan of Turkey, President Erdogan of Turkey, President Erdogan of Turkey. Just as we don't let the separatist terror organization, the Kurdistan Workers' Party, operate within our borders, we're also determined to vanquish them on the other side of the border. In the coming days, we should continue the operation to purge our southern border from terror. Putin of Russia will go to Tehran to meet with the Iran's President Hassan Rouhani. پشیمانی ابدی برای شما به بار خواهد آورد میگن ایران نمیذاریم یه قتل نفس صادر کنه یعنی ایران اینقدر ضعیفه کجا هستید شما چی فکر میکنید حتما نمیتونید این کارو بکنید قطعا نمیتونید این کارو بکنید وامیستیم ما, ما مرد ما همه ملت ایران مرد مقاومت این مرد ایستادگی هستیم شما نمیتونید ملت ایران را علیه امنیت ایران بسیج کنید شما اشتباه میکنید شما زدیتتون رو با ملت ایران به وضوح نشون دادید The US's latest move in Syria is straining relations with Turkey a key NATO ally Turkish President Erdogan says his country is threatened by the U.S. arming and training 30,000 Kurds in northeastern Syria. Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan vowed to crush the U.S.-backed force, saying, a country we call an ally is insisting on forming a terror army on our borders. Our mission is to strangle it before it's even born. Russian officials criticized the move too. Quote, I think it's an obvious attempt to reanimate the militants who can flow from neighboring states, namely Iraq, said deputy head of the State Duma Defense Committee, Yuri Shvitkin. 
He accused the U.S. of creating the border force, quote, to achieve their geopolitical goals, escalate tensions, and probably attempt to overthrow the legitimately elected President Bashar Assad. Israel issuing a strong warning this Sunday. Major General Yoel Strick quoted in the Times of Israel saying, Iran wants to establish a forward operating base in Syria whose goal is attacking Israel. We will not allow it.